Hello and welcome to Technic Forge tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about the variables and text spinners in mailing. From our last video, we talked about the use of this Teams tab in Porso app. I know some of you are doubting about the use of variables, so let me explain it. Variables are very important and useful. It is used to make your content unique when sending emails in bulk. For my last video, I used this line for our title, which is the opening curly bracket, high, vertical bar, hello, closing curly bracket. Another two opening curly bracket, then first underscore name, then closing curly bracket, and a line, here is an awesome offer for you. As you can see, we are sending bulk emails. The first variable that we added is the one that has opening curly bracket, hi and hello, with a vertical bar in between, and a closing curly bracket. When using this, there will be viewers who will receive the hi, and there are also viewers who will receive the hello. This is mainly called a text spinner. The second variable that we added is the one with the underscore in between of two words, which are the first and the name inside a double opening and closing curly bracket. This is called variables. If you want your potential customer to feel like special as they are being called by their name, it is a sign for you to use this. They are so useful. You can use them in sending emails from your lists, from your campaign, everywhere. Let us go to this list tab. Select a list in random. As you can see, we have the subscribers with their email address. When using the variable, they will see their first name written in the title. You can also add variable for the last name. Also in this extra field section, they have extra details with them. You can use this as variables for the list ID, IP address, date, and anything you want to mention in your email. Let us send an example email to my email address. Hi, hello, hey, first name as the title. Let me add a snippet which is the header. And thank you, or a bunch of things, or thank you very much for choosing Pursu app. And then let me add the footer. So, all set. Choose the mailer and compose. As you can see, I got the hi from the spinner. My first name from the variable that I added. These lines are from the header snippets that I made. I got the thank you from the spinner that I used. And the footer snippet. All set. You can use variables, spinner, and snippet however you want. You can have the email, first name, last name, or every details you have in a variable. I hope you find this video helpful. We also have a bunch of videos and demos on this channel. Take a look and you might also find tutorials about the other apps too, which might help you succeed in internet marketing. Thanks for watching!